Hey Sterlingers, hope you're having a good day or hope you're having a better day than I was last week. Alright, we're here with the last necromancer from Mass of Darkness 2 who's primed with a zenithal highlight of black and white. Again, not my favorite and something happened with the can. Must have. The speckle is just horrible. So I'm using a little bit of Dorado skin now on the, the skin of this miniature first of all. And just on the... Uh, I started doing the hand and I realized, nope, that's her glove. Alright, so don't do the hand. Just do the face, her shoulders, and her knees. Or above her knees. Some plasmatic bolt. This is a speed paint. We're putting this on this entire uh, cornucopia of a hat. Now, I couldn't see anywhere else on the... Uh, on the images or anything I could find what color else was on this hat so I just went with what I thought I could find pallid bone now for the straw of her broom or the broom part of her broom <laughs> pale flesh which is a very light purple we're doing this for this little uh, uh, like mesh thing that's holding onto her hat there and we're also be doing her stockings and I'm putting it on very lightly uh, and yeah so not much to say more about the pale flesh just uh, try not to get anything anywhere else and uh, uh, yeah I hope you're enjoying the video. I know this one again doesn't turn out too great. Please hit that like button anyways. And we're getting close to a thousand. And there will be something coming up real soon, folks. So keep an eye out for that. Absolution Green is next. Our next speed paint. We're going to be doing this on her beautiful dress. Um, I don't even think I've used this green before. I might have. I don't remember. But this is a beautiful green. Uh, it actually does a good job. Now, I know you noticed in the picture at the beginning, like all the speckling. I think it's my camera picking up the Zenithal speckles, too. Uh, again, it must have been my white can of primer having something wrong with it because these three necromancers, only the last one though, was who was it, Harriet? No, Mortimer turned out actually pretty nice with the speed paints. I was hoping this one was going to turn out really nice too. I should have just ended up using regular paints on top of it and that's it. Grim Black is next. We're putting that on her little shoes there. Moving on to some soft skin wash now. And for some reason, I don't know why, with the Dorado skin, it gave it a shiny look to it. And I don't understand why. Elemental Boat now, or we're going to be Bolt doing her gloves. We're going to be doing this little st uh, string that she has uh, in front of her chest. Uh, we're also going to be using this um, as a, I think, no, I don't remember anymore what I'm using this for. It's been a while. Uh, that little bow she has on the front of her dress as well, actually. So don't forget that little part there. A little dry brush now of snake scales on top of that cornucopia because it just didn't seem right that just that blue it was just too popping and I found the snake scales just lighten it down a little bit uh, now we're using a little bit of uh, um, some blood red so this is a beautiful red from the army painters uh, speed paint we're doing this on like those eyes of that those feathers or whatever in her hair uh, a little bit of warlock purple now just to do the strap around uh, that uh, straw that's on her broom the next color we're using is some pale skin, which is a Zombicide Invader unique paint. We're going to be doing this on this fur of hers, which seems to be alive with our crazy looking head on it. Uh, so yeah, and we're putting this on very light to keep that Zenithal highlight come through. And we're going to speed this up a bit so that you're not just uh, watching the same color go on. Now I'm trying to make these eyes look a little bit cooler on her hat, but I end up messing that up a little bit too. So, you know, it's just trying to get the white around the red of the eyes. I uh, Don't ask me how I was doing it, folks. Some skeleton bone now to do the bones that are attached to her robe there or to her dress. And, and then a little bit of Kraken skin to do that feather or whatever that is uh, just on that other part there. And now some soul blight gray. We're going to be putting this as a shade from Citadel. We're going to be putting this on all over that uh, fur that's alive just to make it pop a little bit more, have a little bit more depth, and to make it a little bit more realistic looking. All right, another unique uh, paint from the Zombicide Invader paint line, which is Tentacle Red. Uh, we're going to be putting this on the eyes, the tongue, and the ears of that weird-looking fur. And there you have it, folks. Igraine is painted and ready for the table. Not my favorite paint job, but, you know, I'm going to stick with it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Keep an eye out for the final mobs, and we'll see you soon.